Hey. How you doing? Chavez here. Chris Chavez with Fandroid. Summertime is officially here. I'm actually sweating buckets right now inside my house. I'm like all kinds of moist. <laughs> But besides that, I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about a little trend that's been going on uh, in Android. And it's seriously been frosting my weenie. I've actually been meaning to make this video a long, long time ago. But for one reason or another, just something always goes wrong. So yeah, let's just get to what I want to talk to you guys about. This is kind of like a public service announcement. So this video you might want to show to uh, your friends and family or at least educate yourself so that you can then educate them. Who knows, you actually might be one of these guilty parties involved in this stuff, but Android task killers. Pretty much everyone has heard of them, um, and probably a lot of you already have it installed on your phone. Um, this may be no fault of yours, because sometimes right when you buy a phone, uh, the little sales rep from like T-Mobile or Verizon, uh, he will actually just go ahead and install a task killer and tell you to run it every so often um, that you need it to make your phone run on all this other malarkey. But let's just kind of start off with what they do. So uh, we all know Android is better than the iPhone. Um, or one of the reasons that makes Android so great is the fact that uh, they have apps that run in the background. Now the misconception that a lot of people get is that these apps are constantly running, meaning that they're just um, sucking up memory and CPU and doing all this stuff in the background without you knowing and they're still going on, kind of like if you leave your car running or like a TV or something and they're just, they just keep on going um, with or without your knowledge. That's one of the reasons why the Cholo at the Verizon store installed the app on your phone. He told you that you're going to get great battery life, just keep using it and killing off those background apps and um, you're going to see your phone uh, running faster uh, better battery life and all this other stuff and then now you're wondering why your phone is just acting all weird all the time and nothing ever works right. So let's just address the first issue which is um, Android in the background running app stuff. So Android is actually pretty efficient at running background apps. You don't really need to assist it in any way. Um, what happens is you'll have a bunch of apps that open when you start your phone um, and sometimes those apps need to be in the background to uh, keep running certain services that they do, like say um, they need to auto update your Twitter or they need to um, update the weather if you have like a weather widget on your phone. So killing those will actually keep your weather from being updated if you have a widget on your thing or kill off your live wallpaper and you wonder why your live, live wallpaper went black. Um, stuff like that. Now like I said before, Android is fully capable of handling um, multiple apps open at the same time. Uh, when you're done using an app, Android will actually pause that process and um, when you return to it, it'll pick up from exactly where you left off. And when there are just a bunch of apps open and you open up new apps, Android is going to kill off the last app that you used on the list um, in order to free up new space and RAM for a new app. So it's not like <laughs> you only have so much RAM and once you start opening up all these apps in your background, they're just stuck there and you can't open up a new app because all these other apps are using your memory. Uh, that's just that's silly. It's silly. Android doesn't need your help. Okay, so as far as speeding up your phone, um, when you have a bunch of apps open in the background, those are actually in your RAM. So I know a lo like a lot of people when they look for a new phone, they want to know that it better have one gig of RAM or you hear them complaining all the time because uh, their phone only has 512 megabytes of RAM and they get all fed up and crazy. Um, and then some of these people are running a task killer in the background and they're constantly killing off apps that open in their background. So what's the point of having RAM if you're not going to use it? Think about it. The point of RAM is to be used. So if you're constantly killing off apps in the background, you might as well just have like four megabytes of RAM seeing how you're just killing off apps, killing off apps and you have no apps in your background. Um, just go buy an iPhone. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. So technically you're not really speeding up anything. Now as far as better battery life goes, um, like I said before, Android is fully capable of handling these background tasks. Um, it pauses them so that they're not sucking up all this juice and stuff. It could actually um, eat up more battery for you to constantly kill off your background apps because all Android is going to do, as soon as you kill off those apps, it's going to open up a whole new list of apps. So you're just killing them off and they're just going to keep coming no matter what. So it's just, it's really, really, it makes no sense. 
So it doesn't really save battery life. Um, it doesn't really make your phone go faster and it's not really helping anything at all. Okay, with all that, I'm not totally against task killers. For the Android power user uh, like myself and stuff, I like to keep monitoring what apps are open in the background. I like to monitor to see if anything is getting crazy. Maybe sucking up too much memory or a memory leak or something, just weird stuff like that. Um, or occasionally, um, Android apps aren't always perfect, so sometimes you might have an app that, like a game or something that you uh, jumped out of and for some reason the music just keeps playing and stuff and it's really embarrassing because you're like in a library or something and you can't make it stop and um, that's when a task killer would be okay to stop a crazy rogue app from just going nuts or um, possibly like my Twika froze the other day and I had to... Um, kill it off to like refresh it and do something else. I, I don't know, there are times when you actually need to use a task killer, but you have to know what you're doing. For the general noob out there, they probably don't need um, to know any of this stuff or have a desire to, so you need to just uninstall this from their phone immediately and just let Android do its thing. So get out there, uh, tell all your friends, uninstall these task killers from their phones. Um, I already know almost everyone has these on their phone. If you look at like say T-Mobile's most downloaded apps from their little weird app store thing, Advanced Task Killer is like the top, I think one of the top three apps most downloaded. And it's just absolutely ridiculous because everyone thinks that they're helping their phone when in fact they're not. They're actually hurting the user experience. They're stopping apps from functioning properly um, or keeping Android from doing what it just does naturally. So stop it. If you have anything to add or um, something I might have missed in this video, be sure to leave a comment um, in the comment section down below. And uh, I hope this little PSA was helpful to you and I will see you guys next time. My hair is melting. It's so hot in here.